<laughs> Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching 10 Cloverfield Lane. Now, this is a movie I've been wanting to watch for a very long time, actually. I've seen this trailer like a million times. I remember when the trailers were airing on TV for this movie, it was literally like every three commercials this trailer came on. I just remember thinking, I'm going to go to the theater and see this. And I never did because I don't want to go alone. So now based on what I know, I'm pretty sure it's just this guy keeping a girl in a, locked in a basement. He like won't let her leave because it's too dangerous outside. There's like a nuclear fallout going on or something, but it seemed really interesting. So I'm really excited for this. So I'm going to stop wasting time. We're just going to hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon as well as early access to the next couple movies that I do will also be available on Patreon or YouTube membership. So click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. Essentials only. Oh, there we go. That's the main character. That's the other guy. I could just tell by that grunt. He's a very famous actor. Just talk to me, okay? Michelle. Mm. Come back. Yeah, why is she running away? Nothing's happened yet. Probably just doesn't want to get married. Look, we had an argument. Couples fight. That is no reason to just leave everything behind. Wait, is this Bradley Cooper on the phone? <laughs> phone? Running away isn't gonna help anything. Michelle, please. I think that was. I think Ben's Bradley. Been restored to many cities on the southern seaboard mm -hmm. in the wake of like, catastrophic power surge that has tripled traffic in the area. Entire Ooh, damn! <laughs> okay, shit. Oh, oh, we're back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I like how it cut. Okay, and then the dude probably like finds her, picks her up. Yep. Yeah. I mean, yeah, she's totally thinking she just got kidnapped, but in reality, there's some like shit going on outside, so he like saved her or whatever. <laughs> She's gonna get her phone and then see that there's no service. Oh, yep, no service. Please. Please don't hurt me. You need fluids. You were in shock. What are you gonna do to me? I'm going to keep you alive. Yeah, he's like helping her out. But I mean, from her perspective, it doesn't seem like it at all. I'm sorry, but no one is looking for you. Be like, yo, there's some shit going on outside. No one's able to look for you, you know? Because when you just say it like that, and that's all you say, that sounds fucked up. <laughs> yeah, you could be waiting there for hours. <laughs> Don't even think about trying that again. You're lucky to be here at all. My generosity only extends so far. Eggs. Okay, bro, tell her what's going on outside. Please, just let me go, please. There's nowhere to go, Michelle. What do you mean? I found you, and I saved your life by bringing you here. I don't understand. There's been an attack. I'm not sure yet if it's chemical or nuclear, but down here we're safe. And where are we exactly? Underneath my farmhouse, 40 miles outside of Lake Charles. I was driving north of here. You were in an accident. I was driving by and I saw, I saved your life, Michelle. I couldn't just leave you there. Okay. How is she supposed to believe this, you know? I guess I should, I should go to a hospital. An attack means fallout which contaminates the air above ground. That's, that's how it works. Well, how, how long do we have to wait until it's safe? It depends on the proximity to the closest blast, one year, maybe two. <sighs> Russians are developing some nasty stuff, and if the Martians finally figured out a way to- The Martians? 
dude sounds insane but honestly dude i wish i wish they didn't fucking show it in the trailer that she leaves and then she sees what's really going on outside or you know like i feel like that's a huge fucking spoiler because if they didn't show that then i'd have no idea if he's lying or not and that would, i feel like that'd make for a way better movie mm. what the fuck is that excuse me you, you got other people down here too what did you do yeah this fool just seems like a psycho like if i was michelle i wouldn't fucking believe him either <laughs> You know what, Michelle? I'm gonna tell you what I told him. You need to eat, you need to sleep, and you need to start showing me a little bit of appreciation. <sighs> My name is Howard, by the way. So, um, uh, how are you doing? Uh, you okay? No. What is this? It's a bunker. You know, it's actually kind of hard to tell with, uh, no windows. I mean, how do we get out of here? Getting out of here is the last thing you want to do. Because the air up there, contaminated i see you've met emmett yeah why'd you beat his ass earlier he did that to himself oh and it was him knocking over a shelf with a whole week's worth of food oh. which he's sorry for correct totally i feel like he didn't do that <laughs> he just has to go along with it or howard here can just boot his ass he knows what's going on outside he knows for sure so he doesn't, he doesn't know what he's doing. he's just gonna comply those are megan's she never went anywhere without two or three of those things. Your daughter? Megan's not with us anymore. Mm. If you had heard a car, the driver would be long dead by now. It There's no one left to call. Mm -hmm. See that? Nothing's coming through. I mean, see, it's like he knows for sure what's going on outside, so... You think I sound crazy? Yes. But her, she, she missed it all. Crazy mm. is building your ark after the flood has already come. I think maybe it's time you met Frank and Mildred. Okay, F sure. Mm. Okay, th at least there's a window right there. She could see outside. I mean, it looks normal outside. Ooh. Oh. What happened to them? They weren't as lucky as you. It's the air, Michelle. That's yeah. what happens when you get exposed. Okay, no, it looks like you just fucking murdered them, okay? Oh, there's a truck to get away. Oh, it's her. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, he fucking hit her. Oh, God. No one comes in or out. But yeah, to her right now, it looks complete. It looks good outside. Her like remembering, oh, he hit me. Just make sure not believe him even more. What do you know about him? He was in the Navy. Well, what brought him out here? I'm not sure. He foresaw this happening. You know, Howard's like a black belt in conspiracy theory. So he didn't kidnap you? What about your arm? Were you trying to escape? I was trying to get in. Hmm. I mean, dude, she probably just thinks you're in on it too. While you're building his bomb shelter, and now he says that the air is contaminated and that everybody's dead. No, this was more like something you'd read about in the Bible. See it. Right there on his face, he knew something was happening. Something bad. And so I fought my way in. I heard a car right here above us. We're on a farm. Who would drive by on a farm? The, the air is... What, contaminated? How do you know that? Because I told him. <laughs> you are almost convincing him. Not great, but okay. Megan was a good cook. You'll learn to love cooking. Mm, yeah, it sounds like you murdered Megan, dog. Best damn sauce I ever had. Tattoos. Always wanted one. Like that matters now, right? <laughs> You're pissing him off. Everything I wanted to do, I did. I focused on being prepared, and I was. How much money did you invest into this bunker? That's what I want to know. <laughs> like a mill? Oh my goodness. Ooh. Is that Monopoly? I bet you if we started a game right now, we might even get halfway through. Stop talking. Yeah. Anger issue. I don't appreciate it while I'm trying to eat, and neither does Michelle. Now please shut up. She's a really good actor, though. So. Mm. For me, though, it was... Um... Mm. Uh, the problematic, problematic bubble. bubble. Yeah. 
Did you ever play that, um, what was that, Operation? Yes, yes. I'm gonna need the pepper also. Mm, she touched them. What exactly do you think you're I'm, doing? I'm asking for pepper. Like hell you were, what was that? I don't know what you're talking about, Howard. You're trying to insult me? You don't think I see what you just did? Is that how you thank me for saving your calm life? Down, calm down. Shut up! Shut up and stay in your seat! Ooh. No, he's gonna know. He's gonna feel that. I know what a traitor looks like. I have shown you nothing but generosity and hospitality. I mean, I guess. No, I mean, you have been nice, but just in, just in like a backhanded way. <laughs> in a very commanding way, you know? Oh, she got it. Like, it's not going to take long for him to notice. Dude, he knows she, yeah, he knows. Hmm. Oh, hey, there we go. Where are my keys? <gasps> she's going for it. Dude, I don't know if she's gonna be able to unlock all of those before. There's a lot of locks. Oh, there's like two, but like still. Oh, it's third. Come on. No, no, no. Oh, oh. No! Oh, no! She getting out already? Oh fuck! Who the fuck? There's a car! I see a car! No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, dude, we're only four. Oh, oh, oh they. God. Yeah. Oh no. There's a woman. There's proof. It's okay. I, I, I just, I, I want to come back. Oh. Do not ah, let you her can't. In. You can't. No, 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 no. That's so shitty though. Oh my god, I'm fine. I really am fine. <laughs> no. Hey, it, it, it really it only does me a little, a little, a little. No one can. It'll be okay. I'll be okay. It really hardly touched me at all. I'm sorry. You, I'm sorry. God, open the door, you bitch. You. Dude, it's so shitty because like you want to help her. Oh damn, she's tweaking. Like you want to help her, but she's just gonna get you all killed if you do that. It's like, but okay, Michelle saw for herself that there's something actually going on out there. So thank God that actually happened, because now she's gonna have a peace of mind knowing that Howard isn't lying here. I know it's hard realizing they're all gone. Like, it's still a shitty situation, but it's easier to accept that you gotta stay down here for that long once you know for sure. I crashed into your car. Hmm. Your accident. When I found out about the incoming attack, I got frantic. I tried to pass you, and I'm the reason you went off the road. <sighs> yeah, I know I seem like a sensible guy, but yeah. at the time, I wasn't myself. It was an accident, but it was my fault. I was afraid to tell you. Mm. So, yeah, you were just trying to go around her to get home as fast as you could, but then accidentally crashed into her. And you're like, fuck, now I gotta save her. Even the smallest amount of air that came through the hinges could be toxic. These are Megan's. I recognize that woman's car. She was a neighbor. Emmett wasn't the only one who knew about this place. What, you want me to? This is your doing, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I don't think I'm really qualified. I'll walk you through it. <laughs> it's easy. Some stuff I grabbed from your car. Didn't have time to bring in the booze. Ah. Megan wanted to be an artist. She was your daughter? Yes. She was smart. Loved to read. The magazines were just for fun. She inhaled books. Anything with Paris. What do you want to be when you grow up? You know what you'd say? French. Oh. People are strange creatures. You can't always convince them that safety is in their own best interest. I mean, not the way you do it. When my dad got that way, my... My brother Colin was always there to take the worst of it. And I thought, you know, seeing this little girl, I thought maybe I could do that. 
but I just kept watching. Damn. Didn't do anything about it. And they're about to leave and I, I've done nothing. I did what I always do when things get hard. I just panicked and ran. <laughs> yeah, like she did to her boyfriend. Look, we're here. We're alive. Mm -hmm. And that means something. It means we knew the right people. <laughs> Near the right person. Children be Finally, something to do. One thing I was thinking about is just, there's not enough to do down here for two years. Like you can play all the board games you want. They're gonna get old. We have electricity. Could have had like a console down here. Would have been lit. Play like an infinite game like Minecraft. There's just unlimited things to do in there. We're missing pieces here. Oh. Who is poor cat? What is that? Howard. We're okay. Helicopters. That sounds like helicopters. Could be military, but not ours. 14 years in the Navy. That was phase one. Oh, now they're invading. And then for round two, ground sweeps. Showed an increase in coded traffic recently. Possibly extraterrestrial signals. Oh my fucking God. I thought that was coming from somewhere in my house. Holy shit. <laughs> I thought that was coming from outside for like a second. Oh my God. It was coming from a distance in these headphones. You're the only one small enough to reach it. Fuck. And neither of us will be able to go in and help you if you get stuck. Oh God. Dude, there's no way I could. If, if I was small enough to do this, there's no way I could do it. I would get too claustrophobic. Oh my God. Cause if she got stuck, ugh. My only thing would be is if I can't, if I can't take a deep breath, then I start freaking out. Bro, we, we really can't reach this room any other way. Why is it designed like this? What else is in here? Oh shit. <gasps> oh, it looks like such a good day outside. Help. Oh. What is that? What's wrong? Howard. He lied. He lied about Megan. I think he did something horrible to her. You think that was Megan scratching for help? Oh, is that blood? Wait, that that's not Megan. Hmm. Oh, no. They're going to think this is another victim then. I remember she went to high school with my little sister. She went missing two years back. Oh. There was a message up there. It was scratched on the inside of the window. His earrings mm. with it. Did she ever show back up after she went missing? No. He said to me, he said to my face that this was his daughter. He said this was me. Oh, what the fuck is that? Uh, it looks like him and that's actually Megan. Hmm. Same shirt she's wearing. Yeah. He took her and he killed her. Look, like I said, we can't be the only survivors, right? Uh, she was able to get around, right? At least a little. Yeah, until she yeah. died. Yeah. People to save us. Now that was a great example of teamwork. Very well done. If you like. When, if, once you get out, you don't have so much time before you die. Michelle, she believes there, there's some shit actually going on outside, but they just don't trust Howard now because... Uh, there would be no fucking reason for her to be down here, actually. Fall this fallout wouldn't have happened when she was down here then. He kidnapped her and trapped her down here. And then, yeah, she was scratching to get out and wrote help. So, yeah, I mean, if you're Michelle, I, I would start to think that he told this girl the same thing. He kidnapped this girl, trapped her down in the bunker, told her the same lie, and then eventually he had to kill her or whatever. Now he, he has us down here. He's, like, taking care of us. He kidnaps people to, like, have a family or something, you know? And eventually, like, he just gets so frustrated with them, he kills them. That's what I would be thinking. Then I would start to doubt whether or not the shit outside is actually going on. Even though we did see that girl outside. But, like, still, like... Say, how close do you think she got to that air filtration unit? You think she touched it? If she tracked anything back in with her, it'd be pretty concentrated. I mean, it could be all over the shower and the sink. Have to. Can't risk it. I mean, they are prepping as if there is a 
really going on outside, so... Because, I mean, yeah, they, they believe it, but... They'll just try to get the hell out of here now, and they'll take their chances outside. Not bad so far, partner. If Howard finds us, he's gonna kill us. Right, we time up, make sure he isn't going anywhere. And then one of us... Just... Mm. Goes out, looks for help. Uh, it's probably gonna be Emmett, and then he's gonna die. I'm always watching. Always. Um. God. Hmm. I go wherever I want. I know what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Hmm. No, he, uh, he's playing the game. He's playing. He's talking about what his car said. He's watching. I'm always watching. Santa Claus. There's Santa Claus. Yeah. Yeah, Michelle. That's. What are the odds? Sorry, I just got a little excited. She had to interrupt. Emmett. Why do you sound pissed off? I need your help with something. Okay. You. On deck. We caught Emmett or something. That's how he was acting during that code game. This is perchloric acid. Oh, ooh. Do either of you know what that is? I mean, it's a, it's a form of acid. This all it's the most biological material on contact. Right down to the bone. Okay, so did you put that girl in here or something? Like, hey Howard, uh, what are you showing this to us for? Yeah. Uh, just dunk his head in. You there. think I'm an idiot? Mm. Oh, please. I'm Howard. giving you one chance. Oh. Where to God, you're going into this barrel while you're alive to mm. feel it. It was me. Oh, he's gonna kill him. All right, not her. It's just me. Thinking about making a weapon to get it from you. He's falling on the sword for her. I want her to respect me the way that she respects you. I accept your apology. Hmm. Oh no! <laughs> that was so unexpected. <laughs> It's okay. This was the way it was always supposed to be. Now it's just you and me. No. It's okay. <sighs> it's fucked up. From how, yeah, from Howard's perspective, it seems like Emmett was playing to hurt both of them. So, but then from Michelle, but then Michelle feels like shit because he he fell on the sword for her and it got him killed. Just like that, no mercy. He was a friend too, like, he was so cool. She's really all alone now, cause like, dude, she doesn't trust Howard. He obviously has no problem killing. And he's not really like a friend you, you're chill with like that, you know, he's just an acquaintance. Emmett was a friend, it, he was chill, he was relatable. I thought we changed things up tonight and have dessert before dinner. Mm. After all, we can do whatever we want now. Would you like a cone or a bowl? He shaved. But I want us to be a happy family. So just hang loose and I'll go get dinner started. So creepy, dude. It does seem like he just kidnapped her to have a family, you know? Because he's insane. Ah, bus ticket. Ooh. Dude, you're lucky he announced himself. It's time to set the table. Supper's ready. Mm -hmm. Is it far back enough? Ah, oh, it's right there. <laughs> Michelle, why is this loose? No. Get off the mattress. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> His body. You gonna walk out on me? Yes, if I can. I would like to. He kept you safe. This is how you repay me. Hmm. How long has it even been? Like a week? This is. Oh, 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 oh fuck! Ah, ah, he's fucked. He is fucked. Oh, oh it's gonna start fire. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he's not dead. Face is melted off. All right, well, this bunker's toast now. It's unusable. Honestly, it would have been pretty chill if... Imagine you and Emma just killed him. But then again, like, you probably wouldn't be able to keep up with the maintenance. 
like Howard would be able to. So like, yeah, like you don't know this place as well as him and you don't know all the little tiny things that need to happen to keep it running and safe. Oh, oh, his fingers are falling off. Stay with me. Oh. I mean, bro, I don't even know if this shit's gonna work. She's outside. So really good being outside. You can actually see everything. <gasps> no door. <laughs> ah, that's tough. <laughs> Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry! <sighs> Wasted so much air though. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so if the air is contaminated, these birds should be dead. Oh, so she's taking her thing off. It's just like, how do you explain that woman then? Like, who was that? Was she a paid actor? Who was she? <laughs> she's like, it was all bullshit. Hmm. Helicopter? Fuck. Not a helicopter. Oh, what the... Oh, yeah, they just exploded from the inside. Oh my god. This is a fucking alien ship. Come on. Yeah. Okay, so there's no fall. There's just goddamn aliens. <laughs> Wait, bro, it looks like an alien from like the franchise Aliens. Yeah, so whatever happened to the scrolls by the aliens, not the air. Oh, oh shit, this here. Oh. No, that's the shit that probably fucks you up. That's what happened to the other girl. She got hit with this. Oh, there's the uncle. He did grab it. He said he left that in the car. In her car. Fuck it, I would just accept my death at this point. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck it, just kill me. Oh, oh, I thought she was reaching for the booze. I was gonna say, let me just get fucking shit faced before I die. Just down all of that. Yeah, you can light that on fire and create a bomb. Ooh, nice throw. She's gonna wake up again in the bunker, imagine. And the movie just ends. That'd be insane. All right. Well, there's probably more fucking aliens. But I guess we'll deal with them when we get to them. Oh, the radio. The military has taken back the southern seaboard. Mm. If you aren't in a safe zone, head north of Baton Rouge for combat experience. Mm. There are people in Houston. Oh. Show them, yeah. There are people in Houston who need our help. Uh, Come join us. Oh, what do you do? Do you go to Baton Rouge or Houston? Just go on the fight. In Houston. Ah, oh, I should go to Baton Rouge. Oh. <laughs> yep. All right, that was 10 Cloverfield Lane. I know I mentioned I saw the trailer back in 2016 when this movie was first coming out. And like, it kind of sucks that I knew that Howard was talking about he tagged, like he wasn't like lying about it, but he was insane. I really wish I didn't know about what was happening outside because that would have made the movie so much, so much more suspenseful. But uh, what I remember from the trailer is she walks out and everything's just on fire and it's just pure chaos. That was chaos, but like when she first got out, it, it was pretty chill. And, but like for some reason, I just remember in my head, like she gets out and everything's just on fire no it didn't happen like that i remembered it wrong so howard he was right but he was also wrong he was right in the fact that he was suspicious about something going on out there just it wasn't safe out there but he was wrong about what it was it wasn't a fallout it wasn't nuclear or anything or chemicals but it was just goddamn aliens <laughs> and then what happened to that girl who like came pounding on the door for help i guess like that green gas is what got her she got caught up in that and then that's what made her skin all messed up and then that's what killed her yeah if you go straight to the bunker you go you really don't know what's going on it was just a suspicion so howard was insane he was a he was a psycho howard did kill megan he did lie to michelle about it 
and so yeah he is an actual psycho he was generous by saving them but like he also was a psycho it was only a matter of time before he killed both of them like he killed emmett first chance he got like oh emmett he's trying to hurt both of us shot him in the face no hesitation and it was only a matter of time before he killed michelle too or did something to her so i'm so but her emmett died dude like i wish her and emmett both got away both got out that would have been that would have been the happiest ending you could have had i feel i feel for emmett dude and i like how michelle went to houston in the very end she didn't run away from her problems this time she went that was a nice arc for her because in the beginning she was running away from her problems she was running away from her boyfriend ben and by the very end she's like no fuck that we're gonna go and fight love to see it but yeah that was 10 cloverfield lane comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments and if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching